Welcome to WJZ.com. We still have for the next hour or so, just a little less than an hour, Baltimore area down through D.C. That excessive heat warning still in effect and the heat advisory still in effect till 8 o'clock tonight, although we have had some cooling and some showers as well. 89 now in D.C. We're at 92, 96 at the airport Westminster. That seems to be a hot spot. 77 Oakland, Ocean City down there at 81, 90 Cambridge, 90 protection. But the heat index still 102, 106, 108, so it's still very uncomfortable. Dangerous heat we've had in many, many locations the last three days, but it is the last day of the excessive heat. Now, we have some thunder showers right now from the Beltway, Towson, over toward Pikesville, right along the Beltway, down toward Milford Mill, toward Catonsville, down toward Columbia. A little batch of showers out there. It's beginning to die down. We had some heavier activity just 13, 14 minutes ago. Another batch near Westminster, also some brief heavy showers. In between, not much else happening. You may get a shower in your neighborhood <laughs> if you live west of the city, particularly on the Beltway and out toward the western section of the city. But most of us won't see that cooling relief until Friday. Now, tomorrow and Thursday, there could be a shower, a pop-up shower. As a weak front of value to the north of us kind of retreats, but another little trough of low pressure kind of the atmosphere's slightly cooler air coming in from the ocean and the bay kicked up some storms across the western portion of the region, a little, little bit more out there, and a lot more of Jersey, New York, getting quite a bit of heavy thunderstorm activity. It was in the 90s there today, so they're going to really cool down. Philadelphia, where the Orioles have a game tonight, also getting some thunderstorm activity as we speak. That should diminish shortly, so there may be delay at that game. In fact, it'll be starting pretty soon. To the north of us, that front kind of moves away, but during the day tomorrow, chance of a shower in the morning, perhaps in a couple spots in the afternoon, but late at night when we have the fireworks, most of the region just cloudy to partly cloudy. And then on Thursday, another risk of some scattered showers. The good chance, however, with this front on Friday afternoon, a whole line of thunderstorms could be some heavy downpours, gusty winds, maybe even some flooding downpours as the front comes through pushing all that heat and humidity away behind it. Beautiful, dry, cooler, really pleasant conditions coming in for Saturday and Sunday. So just keep your fingers crossed. It's on its way. So tonight, hazy, muggy, stray shower. Yes, some spots, 74 of the morning. The average low is 67. Tomorrow, hot and humid again. Late shower possible, but I have only 90. Today, we got up to 99. Today was the hottest day of the last five with this heat wave at the airport officially. The average high is only 87, by the way. As we head in the next five days, only 89 on Thursday. Risk of a shower, 87. Best chance of showers and storms will be Friday afternoon. 64 at night as it clears out. Beautiful upper 70s to 80 on Saturday. Clear down to 60 upper 50s suburban areas. Turn off the AEC finally on Saturday night. 83 to 61. Beautiful weekend headed away after five, six days of really intense heat. Have an updated forecast coming up later tonight.